24 hours ago, 24 hours ago right now, Denny Hamlin was celebrating in the Poconos thinking he had won for a third time this year. Kyle Busch was second. It was a one-two finish for Joe Gibbs Racing. Then they found out their cars failed post-race inspection. They were disqualified. The first time this has happened at the Cup Series level since 1960. Oh, we've got plenty to talk about tonight, Larry. This is 2022, <laughs> and things continue to happen. Yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed the broadcast. I watched all the post-race interviews. I turned the TV on to something else. I fired up a cigar, poured me a glass of wine. All of a sudden, my phone is blowing up. Social media is blowing up. It's like, what in the world is going on up there in Pocono? But I'm not going to let that take away from not one, not two, but three great races we saw across the board all weekend long up there. I just love the vibe in Pocono. I mean, there was so much going on, so much excitement, and the race was thrilling. Great battles, flipping and sliding. And of course, we'll dig into Denny and Ross later, their drama that they had. But I'm telling you, Adam, I can't imagine winning a cup race. I've won a few cup races and them coming to me and say, uh, give me that trophy back. You can't have that anymore. <laughs> that disqualification had to be heartbreaking yeah. for Denny and that whole team. His daughter, um, Pitt Road Taylor with the celebration after the race, that was precious. And, uh, then he's going to keep that checker flag, I bet. Yeah, no doubt. Denny Hamlin, <laughs> Kyle Busch, 1-2. They're disqualified. The third-place finisher ends up getting that checkered flag. It's Chase Elliott. We'll hear from him later on. First, let's get to the media center. Last night, Brad Moran from NASCAR making this announcement. There was some uh, some issues discovered that uh, that affect, uh, affect arrow of the vehicle. The part was the front fascia. There really was no reason why there was some material that was somewhere that it shouldn't have been. And that does basically come down to a DQ. It is a penalty, both first uh, 11, Denny Hamlin and the 18 of Kyle Busch been DQ'd. The teams and the owners and everybody was well aware that this new car was going to be kept with some pretty tight tolerances. And there's some areas that all of the teams are well aware that we cannot be going down the path that we had in the past with the other cars. So it is partly due with a new car and uh, the rules have tightened up and you know everyone has to kind of abide by our new rules, which everybody's well aware of. Joe Gibbs Racing had until noon today to issue an appeal. They did not, so there will not be an appeal. But this statement did come out earlier today from Joe Gibbs Racing Director of Competition, Wally Brown. He said this, in our review of the post-race infractions on the 11 and 18 cars at Pocono, it was discovered that a single piece of clear tape was positioned over each of the lower corners of the front fascia ahead of the left front and right front wheel openings on both those cars. The added pieces were two inches wide and five and a half inches long with a thickness of 12 thousandths of an inch and installed under the wrap. This change in our build process was not properly vetted within our organization and we recognize it is against NASCAR's rules. We apologize to everyone for this mistake and we have made changes to our process to ensure that it does not happen again. So there's a whole lot to discuss about this and break down so we all better understand. We're gonna have you do that in a second, Larry. First, earlier today, Senior Vice President of Competition at NASCAR, Scott Miller, was on Sirius XM NASCAR Radio. It was on the lower fascia. It was extra layers of vinyl that, in effect, um, deviated the part from the uh, approved CAD files and and that's you know that that's what it was we can't inspect the entire field at at that level of scrutiny or we we'd be there um you know till about Wednesday or Thursday so uh it it our procedures is to take the uh the first and second place car and and a random car sometimes a random sometimes not and do that, uh, do that post race um, tear down on them. The top five cars all go through an inspection process. Hey, race fans, thanks for watching our video. For all NASCAR on Fox News content and the best clips from Fox Sports, be sure to follow and subscribe to our channel.